overview of the first uh, the first by invitation study group on bolo nasal sort. I started by doing this. The cone of defense. Primary positions one and two. Three is transitory and four is transitory. We have a cone of defense. You can cross the cone with the volta stabile of the sword. And later we'll see wrist cuts actually help with it too. Okay? So what I did is also all the wrist cuts. I did this wrist cut, mandrito, man reverso, uh, redopio from below, and the one-sided reversal wrist cut. There are four wrist cuts. They are done in the following manner, from one to three to one, fenestra to, to uh, from iron gate to fenestra to iron gate. Can you gate. show one, two, three, four? What's that? Can you show one, two, three, four, so they know? One, two, three, four. Oh, you want me to actually do yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. One to three to one, iron gate to fenestra to iron gate, with a wrist cut, and then two to three to one. <coughs> two to three to one. Now, okay. the second one we did was this one, the reversal wrist cut. You can go from one to four to two, and two to four to two. The next one we did was the doppio wrist cuts. This wrist cut is the corollary of this wrist cut. This wrist cut does this, this wrist cut does this. So, you go down, you come up. Wrist cut down, wrist cut up. Okay. Three to one, one to three, to one, to three. The one, the most important line in the whole fencing system. This notion that three to one iron gate to Venestra, and you do it with a wrist cut from the bottom and a wrist cut from the top. Finally, we did the wrist cut that's all on one side. This is a reversal, and it's done like this, two to three to two, and one to three to two. Then we did the applications. So we had the cone of the fence, the wrist cuts, and the applications. The applications. Standing on the left side, mm -hmm. the first uh, thing you can do with the wrist, using this wrist cut here, this wrist cut is primarily uh, used as the defense here. Mm -hmm. So you go one, three, one. And the footwork is to go increase, turn, increase. The whole thing together looks like this. One, three, one. Step, turn, cut. Up, turn, cut. That's for the left side. We were doing it against uh, fendentes and thrusts in, uh, in staccatus. This, oh, yes. This action here, as a defense, is universal. From this side, it looks like this. Two, three, one, four, two. So it, in fact, becomes this action here. This is also a universal defense, and it's also a provocation. It looks like this when incomplete, when completed with the feet. Turn of the body, turn of the sword. Cut, turn of the body, turn of the sword. And turn, cut, turn, cut. One more time. Turn, cut, turn, cut. This works against mandrito, fendente, and thrusts. Okay. Um, now we looked at the provocations. There's only one provocation that can be used with this wrist cut action here. And it is done from the right-handed guard. And you simply do the exact same thing you always do, except you take the blade out of line with the false edge, then you strike, and you strike again. That works against itself. Um, from this side, the first provocation we did was the wrist cut from below, the redopio. And when we're, sh when we're in the guards, we're paired against the same guards? Yes, you're paired against, all the provocations are against, the, the same, against themselves. The thing works against the thing. Right. So from here, the provocation is to simply cut up and come down. I cut up. Cut up and wrist cut down. Wrist cut up, wrist cut down. And the footwork is to step, turn, step, or possibly step, pass, step, and turn. The provocation goes like this. Cut, thrust, turn, strike. Wrist cut up, thrust, reversal cut. Uh, let us look at the response to that. The response to being provoked like that is to either to Bear down, turn, and thrust with the blade on your true edge to the inside. Or if your blade gets set off very far, is the step, cut, wrist cut, redope you upwards, and the wrist cut back down. So it's to bear down and thrust, or okay. set off, cut, come back up, and down. 
Okay. Let me just repeat, what, uh, re refer back. I discussed the onslaught. The response to this action is very simple. When your blade gets set off the side, when you get a bolt the stab blade of the blade to pivot, you turn behind it very hard and either thrust in the face or step back and cut. So you will get one cut here and one cut here. You'll get a mandrito man reversal against the mandrito, against the man reversal. Okay. Going back to the order we were in. We just finished doing this. Yep. Now, on this side of the body, we do the same cut. It's just we started from here. You started from here, you started from here, but it's the same thing. And it looks like this. The footwork is turn, step, turn, step. That's correct. Anyways, you strike with the false edge. You dope your wrist cut upwards. Thrust, cut back the gut. Short again, sorry. No. You keep you're creeping me, so uh, yeah, yeah, it's enough. okay. Tell me that, just tell me that. Yeah. I just... Again, yeah. it's false, true, true. The work is turn, cut, cut with a turn. The response to this is to go turn, cut down on the redoppio. Okay. I'm responding to the cut of my blade by thrusting hard, uh -huh. which elicits the wrist cut redoppio, which I cut down against. And that is all of what we did tonight. That's it. Thank you very much, Aldo. Until next time.